guys, what did I learn and what should you know about your snowmobile? This one is a Polaris, but most of it will be applicable to about most of the snowmobiles. This one is a particular type. This is a long track, long track deep snow. Okay, let's go. First, make sure you have water and food. Then make sure you have enough warm clothes but anticipate on a backpack or if it can fit in that you'll be warm when you're riding but if you get into any issue you have to make sure you have warm clothes as far as tools at the bare minimum you have that key to be able to change a drive belt but you also need a screwdriver I take a flathead screwdriver and not a Phillips for a couple of reasons, let me show you. If you add to, remove, to change a belt, you need a screwdriver to be able to remove that panel. This is a Phillips head. This will work with a flat screwdriver. In this corner, you should see that one, and that's why you'll need a flat head. This is to access the crankcase and refill oil as necessary. Before you leave, lift your snowmobile to make sure it is not stuck, because it could have become icy, and lift your two ski as well to make sure they're not frozen and stuck. Also, let's leave the hood and see what we have. So first of all, the oil, make sure you have the right level because you have injectors and you'll suck about like four ounces of oil per gallon of gas. And the gas consumption on those machines is pretty high. Let's make sure it's full. Then, because I tip down on the side, I still need to figure what's happening. Full cold for the coolant is at that level. Let's make sure it's full as well. Never open your coolant when the engine is warm. Do that when it's cold. and use a funnel will be way cleaner. I don't have any here. This is your fuel valve. You don't have to shut it off each time. It's still advised, but at least when you summarize it, that's definitely need to be shut off after you. Added some stabilizer. Also, could be pretty handy is a storage rack. I found that one for about like 41 42 dollars online. Uh, one of the two home improvement stores that we have in the US. Not the one in one world, but the one in two worlds. Not sure about the names when you're making a video, so I'd rather avoid that. You have to have some sliding pin so you can adjust the height. You have different height. Two sliding pin for the two legs. So it comes in four pieces. It takes about one minute to assemble. Just place that behind your snowmobile. It's already over the last bar. Lift it and see.
interested in it. This will release the pressure on your lugs. So talking about lugs, let's talk a little bit about the track. This one is a 155 long track. This is called the windows, track, the track windows. Then we have the track clip. This is the pitch, your measurement in between that one and that one, or that one and that one, and such. So if you're measuring your pitch, either you measure like four of them, let's say like four of them or more, it's about 11.5 inches, make the mass, or you measure just one of them, and you see it's about two and three quarter. That will be the pitch on a snowmobile. On the on the track, sorry. You have those sliders. Those you can melt them in no time. They're in very good shape. You have a line here that shows the wear. You don't want to exceed that line. So it looks still in very good shape. But you want to make sure you keep it cold. I will do a separate videos about overheating or not overheating your snowmobile. And finally, check your gas level. This is about three quarter full. Based on the ride you're anticipating to do, you have to make the right judgment whether you have enough gas or just refill it. And finally, to finish the basic, the basics, you should always have a drive belt, a spare drive belt in your snowmobile. And before leaving, don't forget your helmet, your goggles, warm pair of gloves, and then you're ready to go. Crack it up, full choke if it's cold, half choke if it's not too cold. Partially warm, 43 degrees. I would let it warm up to about 70, 80 degrees. Then start riding, go slow for the first three to five minutes, and then you're good to go. You should be at operating temperature. See ya, guys. <laughs>